This video by Quilt Art is for the quilt's spiral motion, spinning around and spin out. We'll be sewing the quilt top together, and this is part one of two parts. Okay, now we have the templates drawn and we're ready to sew the design together. We're gonna start by uh, making a strip set of eight shaded fabrics. Uh, this is the darkest fabric is number eight down to fabric number one is the lightest. Uh, we're going to be pressing the seam allowances towards the light and then we're going to tube it. We're going to sew the dark end to the light end and make a tube. We're going to be doing a Bargello type technique with this. So here we, um, I have this sewn into a tube and we're going to pretend that this part is still on there. And then we're going to be cutting these strip sets into two inch wide strips. And uh, so I've already got one cut off here. And the progression, the stair step of the fabrics is going to go like this. Uh, you can see we've got fabric number eight here and then it comes down to the bottom and then stair steps all the way up. This is going to be the wide end of the templates and this is going to be the narrow end of the templates. So for this very first one, you're going to be opening up the seam allowance between fabric number one and fabric number eight. So I've already picked out the stitches uh, from that and so we have our strip now that's going to be used for this right here. So now we're ready to apply the uh, templates to the uh, fabric. So what we're doing is um, for the design uh, templates, we're gonna be lining up this nine inch circle line uh, uh, between the first and second square. And we're gonna line that up perfectly uh, between right on that seam line. And then we're gonna line this up so that uh, when we iron it down, we have enough room to cut a quarter inch seam allowance around both sides and also top and bottom. And we're gonna be do the, doing the same thing with the background pieces as well. So once we have those ironed on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut out our uh, seam allowances. Uh, so we're going to cut out our perfect seam allowance, quarter inch seam allowances around all four sides and then we'll be ready to start sewing this together. Uh, we're going to be always putting uh, the uh, higher number on top and the lower number on the bottom. So right now we have nine and eight. So I've got nine on the top. We're going to line up first the circle end. Line those two pieces up and then when you follow it down down here at this end, when after you've lined up this end, a V is created right here, and that V points right at the, at the edge of the template, which means that's your quarter inch seam allowance. So you're just going to start sewing at the V, and then continue all the way up, and you sew in your first seam. And when you open them out, your seam is always going to be pressed to the lower number here. So just open it up press to the lower number, but keep in mind too that this is going to be progressing like uh, paper piecing where it is in mirror image because we have the templates on the back side of the fabric and not the front side of the fabric. So you can see here our design is going to progress this way. Number 40 is going to go on 42, so it's going to progress out this way. But when we turn it over on the right side, it's progressing this way. It's all taken into account in the in the directions in the pattern, so everything will work out just fine, but just so that you keep in mind, it will be in reverse image. Um, and now uh, you're going to sew together the four sides and then sew them together at the four corners. And then leave all the uh, freezer paper paper templates on and you're going to be able to fold over at the uh, at the circle edge uh, your quarter inch and you're going to have a finished edge along your circle. We're going to be putting the center sphere in uh, via reverse applique instead of putting it on top so you'll already have a finished edge for that circle.